What's up, YouTube? I had a comment to inspire this video. He said, Jesus is not the Father! Exclamation, pound, exclamation. Okay. Uh, I understand. I get it. There, There's spiritual components to these things. I've made... I'm trying to be nice. I made a... Uh, somewhat of a uh, playlist, a short playlist on Antichrist. If you study that out, okay, it's... Basically, it's religion, it's uh, offshoots, it's not straight-up truth, according to Scripture. Like, anti I mean, the word antichrist, it's antichrists, plural. Let, let me just read it, First John 2, 18. Little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard that antichrist shall come, even now are there many antichrists, plural. Okay, it's not a dude with a 666. Whereby we know that it is the last time. This was way back during John, 90 AD. This was written. There was many antichrists. They denied the Father and the Son. They don't know. They don't understand. Okay, I'm trying to be nice. Um, and then there's four scriptures that, besides uh, that one, that mention antichrist. Okay, so in totality, there's five scriptures. Um, I can read a couple. For many, just Second John one seven, First uh, John two eighteen. I already read that. Actually, there's only four. First John two 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 and First John four three. That's the totality of the word antichrist in the whole Bible. Okay. Now, the son of perdition of the Old Testament in Daniel prophecy. A lot of eschatologies teachers. I'm not an eschatology teacher, but I know some things about it. Uh, they'll teach that that son of perdition is antichrist. Okay, um, whether it is or not, it's what John is teaching about antichrist is more about the Godhead. They're denying that Jesus is the Christ. They're denying that Jesus is the everlasting Father. That was prophesied by Isaiah. Okay, um, you could say John is like a counterpart of the Old Testament prophet Isaiah because their revelations go like this. They're parallel, okay? They go, and uh, so they're, they're just, it's just, you know, as you're looking at John's revelation in the New Testament, he's like, man, this is cool, you know. But uh, I'll, I'll read a couple. Um, but you're not going to really see it. I, I'm not going to go in depth with Antichrist in this. John, first John two two two. Who is a liar? But he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ. He is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Okay. So when you're denying Jesus anything, you're denying the Father and the Son because he's that's who he is. Okay. He's got these functions, these administrations, these offices, the Godhead. Okay. Colossians two nine. Real quick. Jesus Christ is the fullness of the Godhead in a body. What is the Godhead? Father, Son, Holy Ghost. What is Father? Spirit. What is Holy Ghost? Spirit. What is Son? Flesh. The embodiment of that Spirit, that one Spirit. Okay? That's why Matthew 1, it says that the Holy Ghost overshadowed Mary. Okay? And Christ was born. Okay, the Bible actually says that Jesus is the child of the Holy Ghost. Does Jesus have two daddies? Does he have two fathers? No, it's him. Okay, he was spirit and then he became flesh. First Timothy 3.16, okay. God was manifested in the flesh. Now, like I said, they, the Antichrist, uh, those are spirits, okay. There are many Antichrists, those are uh you know, religion, you could say. Anything that's errant is anti... If it's taking you away from truth, it's anti-Christ, okay? John said many are anti-Christ. That's why the scriptures, I hammer the scriptures. I hammer, you've got to stay in the scriptures. Even when you don't understand. That's The word Trinity is not in the scriptures. That's why God has me writing a book about this stuff, okay? Because it's anti-Christ, it's telling you that Jesus is not the everlasting Father. I'll just go right to the Scripture. It's the easiest. I mean, it says it all over the place. If you're, uh, 
if you're, um, you know, if you understand, what, what is the first of all the commandments? What is the first of all commandments? Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. That is the Shema law of Moses that Jesus quoted. It's in the New Testament. I found it in Mark. It's going in my book. It's a whole chapter in my book that I'm writing currently. Okay, Isaiah 9, 6. Even, you know, Isaiah 7, 14 talks about, you know, Jesus is, is but Isaiah 9, 6. For, there's only one God. If you understand there's one God, and he is a spirit, John 4, 24. And he, uh, John 4, 23, I'll, I'll take you there in a minute, because God wanted me to share that with you. I just remembered that because he told me that yesterday. But here's Isaiah 9, 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. And his name, one name, shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, capital T, the, capital T, the Everlasting Father, capital T, the Prince of Peace, capital T, the Everlasting Father. Is there two Everlasting Fathers? Is there three Everlasting Fathers? No. God became flesh. Did he father himself? His spirit manifested a created being. The flesh was created by the spirit. Therefore, he is now a son by default. Okay? God wanted these functions, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, because he knew the crazy world had the, the triad beliefs pre-Babel and post-Babel. Nimrod, Semiramis, Tammuz, and Catholicism with their junk. I mean, you don't have to go very far to find the satanic stuff in that. You know, all, look at all the symbols. All this, I'm not going into it, okay? It's just, it's ridiculous. It's anti-Christ. The scriptures are not anti-Christ. The scriptures are pro-Christ. If Jesus, Isaiah calls Jesus the everlasting father, Isaiah 9, 6, that's one father. If the Holy Ghost overshadowed Mary and caused Jesus to be born, that's two fathers. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, Jesus says. That's three fathers. Okay? There's not three fathers. That's Antichrist, if you think that. Okay? So, God is one. Simply, the Spirit became flesh. Okay? All flesh has to pray. Okay? As a man. He is now a human being when he was born here. If you could understand, God... In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. If you could understand that, one God okay, became flesh, became a human being. And what's all human beings have to do to resist sin, to resist temptation? We have to pray. Our Father which art in heaven. Did the Spirit stop being, did the Father stop being in heaven when he manifested in the earth? No. Because he's an infinite, invisible, infinite, omnipresent spirit that fills heaven and earth. Even when he's in a man, Christ Jesus. For, uh, first Corinthians 5.19. He's still the everlasting father in eternity. Do you understand? There's only one spirit. Who's the father of Jesus? The Holy Ghost. The father. Is there two spirits, Ron? No. One spirit. So that you got that one spirit, and he became a man. But he's still the one spirit. 